what a beautiful start to the day that is. What a sunrise. It's quite a lot of new shale all around here, so the chances of them being some good nodules are pretty good. There's a couple of nice nodules here now. There's one in there, not that loose. There we go, that one. There's also one in there and one right here to hit. That's a good start. Well, turn that over and that was already opened. Oh well. Just come across this. Looks like Elegantiserus. Yeah. Oh, definitely. There we go. Right, we'll give this a hit because usually these kind of ones are uh, pretty, pretty bad preservation. I couldn't have been more correct about that. Absolutely rubbish. Knew it. Just loads of horrible bivalves and oyster shells and all sorts. Interesting. Just hit this nodule. I'm not going to open this up because it, it needs to stay closed. But there's some bone-like material in there maybe a vert maybe something else i'm really really not sure but that could be promising that i think i'm in luck today more bone down here now i'm pretty sure it's gonna be gyrostius bone does look like it very very fish like so it probably is almost had me for a uh, paddle or a humerus but lovely dap that i'll have ever raid up i mean there is bone oh is that bone it looks like more bone on the top, but that's very pyritic, so that might be really difficult to prep, but that side I'll definitely take home. That's beautiful, that. Not bad, that. Not bad at all. Imagine finding a harpo that big. Wow. That's just a part of the outer well. That must have been a good eight, nine inch, that. Oh, my days. Shame it's not all there, but up in it. Cool. Just gave this a tap. It's got the world's tiniest little dac gracile in it. <laughs> all in that, all of that space, that tiny ammonite. I've also just been trying to open this. It was a double, but the pyrite content in it, it's just not even worth flipping taking home. That won't split well, and the prep will be a nightmare. To the sea you go. Well, this is worth it in. Oh. It's empty. Nah, what a bummer. Well, this is quite impressive. I think it's a giant tree stump or what was once. You can see all the uh, the jet coming through here. That's a lot, that, but there's nothing there worth really taking. It'll all crumble, but it's pretty to see anyway. Here's why it pays to go look through the shoreline. Elegantiserus there, looks like there might be another one in there. I'll pull this out of here and we'll give that a hit. See if we're going to have nothing in it or it's going to be mega. My guess is rubbish. Take your guesses, people. Is it going to split on this side or the underside? Let's find out. Pyrite skin's gone. Right, it's been it. Moment of truth. Oh, not really, no. There's been some in there, but they're not well preserved. We'll keep hitting it. Oh. <laughs> it's just a big partial whirl. That's unfortunate, but that's the way she goes. Bummer. Kind of got my hopes up for that. Would have been a nice one, but I'll take whatever today. It is what it is. And as always, right next to me. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's stuck. There we go. There's a block here, look. One Elegantiserus there. Not sure what else is in here. Some really nice pyrite crystals. We'll give this a hit. Just whack it there. That'll get it popped. The moment of truth. It split well. Looks like this one might be showing. Ah. Oh. Damn. It's not that great. Yeah, rotten away there a little bit. I actually just noticed another little crack down here, so I've just given it a tap. See what's in, if there's anything underneath. Ah, <laughs> never mind, doesn't matter. You just get used to failing with stuff like that. It's hit and miss. You never know what's gonna happen, but if you don't hit them, you don't find out what's inside. Just picked up this lovely round cannonball, fresh out of the cliffs. Let's go hit it. There's gotta be one in here, hasn't there? 
pyritic. There we go. It's split. Have we got some or not? <laughs> it's a coprolite, otherwise known as a poo. Well, always cool, but that'll stay here. You can tell that we're getting into the tenucostatum and semicostatum uh, beds. There's a big tenucostatum all crushed and knackered. You can see where the mud infill has gone into the living chamber. So underneath here would have been probably all pyrite crystals if it had been complete, but still nice to see, but that'll be gone in a couple of days. Left to the actions of the sea. And that's one of the many reasons why we collect so much. Stuff just gets destroyed by the sea all the time. The amount of probably ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, dinosaur material could have been washed out and it's gone, never to be seen again. That's why we collect. I seem to be on a roll of finding nice wood at the minute too. Look at that. Bit of coal on top, almost went changed to jet now, which is a shame. But yeah, I like the wood, but I've taken too much back recently, so that's not coming back with me though. T Smith, there's plenty of good looking nodules today. That is worth a hit. With the way it's going today though, that probably won't have anything in it, but we'll hit it anyway. Let's see if we can get out of it. I hope so. Right. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Ooh, split. Come on, give me something, anything. Nothing in there yet. Let's give it another tap. Hope for the best. Whee! Another tap gone. Ah, nothing. Bummer. Called it. What a shame that this belemite's worn out. Nice sized one, had the fragma cone and everything on it. Bummer. I'll be gone again and all, like in a couple of days. And this one goes out to all the crystal lovers. Look at that. The calcite veins in that are huge. Somebody's hit that down already. Never really have anything in them, but my days, that is a pretty thing to see. It'd be cool to have that uh, cut and polished across the middle. That'll look very cool, but there's no way I'm putting that in the bag. No more overdoing it for me anymore. No chance. Unless it was an ichthyosaur or a plesiosaur or a crocodile or a dinosaur, then it's different or even more so a pterosaur. I could take a pterosaur. Now this is one pyritic semi piece. We'll give this a good hit. Hmm, trying to tell what that is there. Let's hit it. This is gonna be a hard work one, this one, I can feel it. Right, this'll take ages, this. Oh, we got a bit off though. That's a good sign. <sighs> Nothing in it. Bear with me. I'm going to try to chisel this bell knight out and see if it's got a fragma cone. Nice loose slab. Let's go. Well, unfortunately, no fragma cone. It was just the starting of it, but nothing else. I'll leave that in there. If somebody else wants it, they'll be able to get it. That'll last a week or two. Really nice piece, though. I've just picked up this nodule, too. That is pristine. That's come fresh out. It'd be nice if there's something in there, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's go. That was hard work for absolutely nothing. Oh, flipping heck. Another really nice piece of fish bone. Cool. Might even be similar to the other piece that I picked up earlier on that. I'll take it. 